Okay, it's quite straight on this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SYRX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a good solid move. I mean, compared to where it was yesterday to where it closed today, I think everyone would agree, good solid day. But that does bring up the question, is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level. And that's why I love charts, it makes things very straightforward. And that level is down here at 24 cents. Why is 24 cents so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine strength, with true power, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly strong, it's not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 24 cents. Any sort of closes blow it or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back to within this range where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or as let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down here. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, you got stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's what truly strong moves do, right? They progress in that upwards direction. So 24 cents, very important level of support. Good news is, is it closed at 29 cents. So it's not like 24 cents is even in you know danger of being tested or you know broken or anything like that. So a good overall day for sure. Now, what about levels of resistance? If this upwards move is gonna continue, where, where are some of these next key battlegrounds at? Really, the, the key battleground here, and I believe it's where it got rejected today. Let's check. Yep, and right off of today. So it's 32 cents. So 32 cents makes perfect sense why the price, you know, struggled with it today right there. Why does it make perfect sense? Well, if you go back here through the history, you can see back here uh, on, when was that? Uh, back on December 13th, price also struggled with it. So while I'm not saying that 32 cents can't be broken or anything like that. I'm just saying that apparently according to the chart and the story it's telling us, there are sellers sitting up at 32 cents and uh, you know the bulls are gonna have to bring their A game in order to fight through and push through. But anyway, you slice it, very nice day to day. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.